Transformer Cyberverse Season 4. I talked about this very briefly during the last Transformer Slag podcast live stream on Saturday night, and Hasbro has put out some new information in a very odd way on the release date and what's going to be happening with Season 4 of their Transformer Cyberverse series, which really we've been hanging on waiting for information since the beginning of this year and even a little bit of the end of last year. Uh, 2021 is a weird year for Transformers and fiction, I guess is the best way to put it. If, if, if you're not a comic book reader, there really isn't much that you have for the Transformers brand to consume in terms of ongoing story and fiction. And we've been really waiting for the Cyberverse series. You know, we, we had Earthrise at the beginning of 2021. It was Netflix, six episodes, boom, quick and done. And then Hasbro put out that announcement that we're going to be getting Kingdom in May of 20, the May 20 of 2021. Obviously, that didn't happen. It got pushed back. We have the new date now of July of 2021 with no specific date, but it will be in July. Coming up very soon, oddly enough. And now we have this announcement, not a press release, not anything big, not a, you know, a posting on some... Just essentially, they updated their Transformers YouTube channel, and one of their playlists for their Cyberverse stuff, they put in the headline of it, Transformers Cyberverse, new Netflix special out November 21st. So it looks like Hasbro is continuing their very big relationship that they have with Netflix. Already, they've announced that they're going to be doing stuff with BotBots, and the BotBots, I guess, placeholder is already on the Netflix uh, streaming service, saying that there's going to be 20 episodes for the BotBots series, and I'll, I'll get into that in a moment. But essentially, it looks like we're going to be getting some kind of Netflix special. I think they're going to be the TV movies that we were told before. And what that was is Issue Magazine back in, I think it was like October of 2020, uh, they, they had this little blurb where it said uh, there's going to be two TV movies and the blurb said uh, Bumblebee with the help of the stowaway Dinobots, Sludge, Slag, Snarl and Swoop along with the other Autobots plan to take down Megatron X. And that was like the little blurb that they had. And then in February of 2021, Issue Magazine gave more information saying like, well, here's the titles of both of these TV movies and what the stories are going to be. And the first one was called The Immobilizer. That's the first TV movie. And it says the whole planet Cybertron has become frozen in time. So whatever that means for that story. And then the second one's called The Perfect Decepticon, which is after a peace treaty with the Autobots and Decepticon, that union is put to the test. Now, that title there, The Perfect Decepticon, leads into Megatron X, which is mentioned in that first blurb, where The Perfect Decepticon was those Tarn-looking units that Megatron X created. Uh, for people who don't know who Megatron X is, go watch the end of Season 3 of Cyberverse. I don't want to spoil too much. It's a black Megatron repaint. He's kind of cool. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, really. But point being is... So we have more information at least. Then we had all those toy leaks that really confirmed that the Dinobots are going to become a thing. The dinosaurs are going to be a thing in this series. So there's a lot of least confirmation with that kind of stuff too when you kind of look at the bigger picture of everything that we've been having. So it seems like, I guess, Netflix, November 21st, 2021, we're going to probably get those TV movies, which I, I prefer it that way because then I'll be able to watch in my own leisure. I don't have to catch it on television during a specific time or, or hope to PVR it or something. So it's something that works out better that way. But when you look at the grand picture of it for 2021 for Transformer fiction, we had Earthrise at the beginning of the year. We have this gap, essentially, until the Kingdom six episodes which is going to be in july which is i guess what's the date now i think we're already june now as of this recording no we're still may oof we're still may anyways in july we're going to uh we're going to have um kingdom six episodes of that that are just going to burn through quickly i hope it's good i really hope it's good and then we have supposedly this netflix series of uh two movies at least uh november 21st 2021 and then what was mentioned by Hasbro in a press release, the BotBots Netflix series, which is 20 episodes. I believe they're going to be 10 minutes each, so they're going to be smaller episodes, kind of similar to what Cyberverse was before. 
And the blurb that they had with that one was uh, bot bots or transformers, robots in the skies themselves, disguise themselves as everyday objects in the mall. By day, these bot bots hide quietly in the store shelves, but by night, they jump into adventure until a group of bot bots called the Lost Boys run into the mall security guard and put the bot bots in danger. Will the misfits be able to overcome their differences, defeat the security guard, and gain the acceptance in the eyes of the other bots? So, very Toy Story-esque kind of story going on there. Um, just kind of like hiding the truth that these everyday objects are actually alive kind of thing. So that's going to be coming. There's no date right now, but there's something that's going to be coming at some point for the BotBots line. Again, the, the placeholder has been put on Netflix's streaming service. We just don't have a launch date yet. So hopefully we get more information with that. So it looks like Hasbro has a really good relationship with Netflix moving forward. I guess the, the big success of the viewership of the War for Cybertron series as Siege and Earthrise up to this point has really created a lot of confidence with Hasbro and that of the Netflix uh, company to really continue to make this kind of the exclusive source for a lot of stuff in the future. And I think that is going to be the case. Now, keep in mind, though, we still have also an announcement that Nickelodeon has some kind of comedy-based Transformer series of the Autobots with a family or something that's going to be coming at some unknown point that they mentioned hopefully possibly this year too just to pad out the year for for entertainment and product but no word on that yet everything has still been pretty low-key i mean like 2020 and 2021 aside from everything else that's been going on with the big v has really been kind of a dry area when it comes to transformer information news and and product in relation to that of animated series and fiction again if you're reading the comic book stuff at least you're keeping busy there. there's a great beast wars book that's out right now the current idw ongoing is it's not bad it's not not super but it's not bad either and then we have that king uh king uh uh, Kid Grimlock book that's coming, and then we have the Shattered Glass book, so at least that's going to keep us busy in a small sense. But a lot of people, unfortunately, don't read comics, and a majority of the product that gets moved and stuff is influenced by movies and television series, and, and so I really hope that we get more of that on the screen because that really helps the brand and move product and keep everything moving forward and shows Hasbro that this that this brand has success and has interest from people. So hopefully we get more info on that. There's there's still it's still everything is so vague. I feel like I'm always having to pick little things here and there in order to figure out what's going on because Hasbro really has still not 100% come forward and done these big press releases with even like a still image or a production poster with some control art to just say, hey, this is coming. Get excited about it. I mean, we have to rely on Walmart listings with leaked toys to kind of get a vague idea of what maybe the Dinobots will look like. And even then, if, if past Cyberverse toys have been any indication, a lot of times the toys are not necessarily a strong reflection of what the characters will look like or the themes will be because you'll have like oh here's this entire line of energon armors and maybe one or two characters will actually get an energon armor or like you'll get some big expensive price point optimus prime toy that combines with the arc but that never happens in the show it's just a, a gimmicky toy that exists for the cyberverse line so there's a lot of that so i'm pretty sure that a lot of the stuff that we're looking at of this season four cyberverse toys that have been leaking out at least the listings and some toy images uh is not going to be a strong indication of what the overall arcing aesthetic and story and i guess characters will be in it sure the dinobots are confirmed you know we have the toy listings and now we have the show blurbs from issue magazine in the uk but hopefully we get more information in the near future because i liked cyberverse it was a good series a little short in my opinion but the fact that we're just getting a little bit extra, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see it. Maybe this is going to give us a proper conclusion to everything. But I would just like to see that done just so we have more stories to tell with these characters and hopefully uh, creates more excitement for the brand for new people that will be coming in. Because there's always new people coming in. And this, this is the stuff that really helps grease the wheels with that.